Hello, pleasure to be here. I am Tezzera, of course. I am the host of Who Taught You How to Drive? A quirky, comical look at identity through the driving experience. Each episode, I ride shotgun with a new regular ass person. And today, I'm riding shotgun with you. So, let's imagine it's a sunny day like it is today. Not a lot of traffic. We're chatting, and you're in the driver's seat, all of you, okay? The only thing we're missing is some music, right? Yeah. All right, so I've put together some moves that we can do while we're driving. You guys want to do them? Yeah. All right. So the first two moves, fairly easy, so I'm just going to do them, and you can follow along. They're just a cool eight count, okay? So you can swag it out whatever way you want. All right, so we got shoulder two, three, four, shoulder, six, seven, eight, up, two, three, four, over, six, seven, eight. That's easy, right? Yeah. All right, so this third move, a little more difficult, so I need you to focus, all right? You got it? All right, so we're gonna go up, two, three, four, up, six, seven, eight. Y'all think y'all could do all of that together? All right, cool, I'ma count y'all in, all right? Here we go, in five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right. That was dope. Y'all did awesome. Give yourselves a bigger round of applause for that. I am a little concerned at how easy it was to distract you while driving, though. Yeah. I mean, but we are in Boston. So a little about me. I have been obsessed with human behavior my entire life. People who know me would say that um, I'm not much of a talker and I'm probably a little more of an observer. I was a psychology major in undergrad. I'm an avid people watcher. You get the gist, right? Um, and I'm willing to bet that most of the people in the audience tonight are kind, right? Pleasant enough people. Mm -hmm. Would you say that? But your driving sucks. <laughs> Seriously, I'm sure a couple of y'all waved at me on the way into the theater. Mm -hmm. But earlier today, you definitely flipped me off while cutting across three lanes of traffic on the 90. Like, seriously, it's disgusting. Um, so <laughs> that brings me to the origin of this show. I am completely fascinated by who we become when we get behind the wheel. It gives us this sense of anonymity that allows us to, I don't know how you say it, uh, act a fool. <laughs> and road rage is everywhere. <laughs> Expedia even did a report on it in 2016. And I want to see if y'all know the top five driving behaviors that get people the most angry on the road. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, so the fifth most hated driving behavior. What do you think it is? Somebody shout something out. Oh, yes. <laughs> Crawlers. You know those people. <laughs> those people who drive slower than you could run. Like, and on purpose. So we had a, a guest in our last season who was totally guilty of this. Yeah, I think one time I was going too slow, and then the person passed me and be like, drive the damn car. Yeah. And I said, I am driving. <laughs> like, what do you think I'm doing? I didn't stop. <laughs> the boulevard is what, like 45, mm -hmm. maybe? No. <laughs> At Route 1 no. said 35, and that's what I do every time. You know, the yeah. signs that says, slow down, and they always tell me, thank you, 31. <laughs> thank you, it says that. Who else in here hates slow drivers? All right, I need to identify you people. It's a dark in the audience. All right, so the fourth most hated driving behavior is the left lane hog. You know, those people who just 
Y'all feel me? Those people who just sit there when I'm trying to get by. The left lane is for passing the crawlers in the right lane. That's the whole point. Oh, sheesh. Anyway, all right, I digress. So the third most hated driving behavior. What y'all think it is? Shout something out. Surprisingly, it's all of those things. We call that multitasking. Yes, those people who do everything in their car except pay attention to the road. Now, we knew that people would say that they might talk on the phone, maybe you put on a little lipstick in the morning, maybe sometimes you read the paper, but we did not expect for our guests to say that they did this. You're not supposed to eat a hoagie while you drive. <laughs> Wait, while you're dri like actually mm. driving a car, you know. Or make a sandwich. Make a sandwich? <laughs> sandwiches? Like, so make you're saying sandwich. like on multiple occasions or you made multiple <laughs> sandwiches in one ride? It can be all, it, all of the above. All of the above, I will say that. Multiple sandwiches and multiple rides with sandwiches made. Yes. I think she's from Boston. All right, so the top two. We're here, ladies and gentlemen. So the second most hated driving behavior is tailgating. We ain't this right? Tailgate. All right, so I don't know what the hell that is, but that's not what I'm talking about. All right, so people hate tailgating. I want you to put two hands in the air if you hate somebody riding your ass. Yeah, I thought so. All right, so... 69% of people said that when drivers do this behavior, it gets them the most angry on the road. And I want for all of you to say it with me on the count of three because I think you all know it, okay? So one, two, three. Texting, Texting yes. And I didn't hear as many uh, people say that as I thought, you know? So I don't want you to go getting all self-righteous. I want you to turn to the person next to you and then repeat after me. I've texted while driving too. Cause I know you have. I have. Mm-hmm, yes. We did get a generational split when we talked to people on our show about this though. Are you a texter? No, I'm not. You said that you see people texting all the time. Who are these people? The millennials. <laughs> Younger kids. Why do you think they do that? They have ADD. Something wrong with them. Do you text while you're driving? Uh, I don't want to answer that question. Yeah, I do. Uh, and I feel terrible about it. I tell myself I only text when I'm at stop signs or at red lights, which I know is still not good. But at least I'm not texting while I'm in motion. You can't drive in text. You don't, you don't have four eyes, you only got two. What if they wearing glasses? That's still not considered four hours. <laughs> Thank you, you so much. Funny, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just checking for myself. Uh, so we find that in talking to people about driving, we get shows that are both, I mean, we get uh, stories that are both funny and layered. Uh, we have fun for sure, but we also talk about issues like rage, we talk about how technology impacts human behavior. And we also talk about social issues like gender and race. Meet Joshua. He's a 26-year-old tech entrepreneur from the suburbs of Philly. He's a mentor, a musician. He even gives back to his community. I drove a black Mercedes Benz for a while and because I'm black, mm -hmm. African American. Black on black. Black on black. Okay. <laughs> black on black on black. <laughs> I'm automatically a drug dealer, apparently, in their eyes. And I've gotten pulled over just like two, three times in my car search just because I'm black. Black driving a nice car. It was a, it's a crazy experience, first and foremost, because I've never been in cuffs before. Yeah. <laughs> and mm -hmm. the reason I'm getting put in cuffs is unlawful and unjust. Right. Yeah. Um, it gave me a more sensitivity towards minorities in certain neighborhoods. I've, I've now understood why certain people respond to police the way they do. It's one of those situations where like now I sympathize mm -hmm. with them more because I understand why they are the way towards them because they just see them as statistics. They see us as statistics. Yeah. Okay, so quick statistic. Black people are twice as likely to be pulled over as white people, even though white people drive more. How frustrating is that to know? Anybody else frustrated by that? Right. 
It's ridiculous. Crazy world we live in. But what better way to examine it? Who taught you how to drive allows you to pop the hood and explore? But I can't let you all leave without talking about safety. <laughs> all right, so we remember our car dance, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So those moves you learned at the beginning of the episode, those, those were safety precautions. Yeah, I hope y'all remember them because we're gonna do them again. And I want you to remember them because again, we're in Boston. All right, I'ma count you in. So five, six, seven, eight, and ah, always wear those seat belts. And up, keep those windshields clean so y'all can see, right? And all right, what's that? Keep both hands on the wheel and use those turn signals, for goodness sakes. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much for riding with us today. I just want to say thank you to my producer, Melissa Sweetie, right over there. Thank you so much. You can find our podcast wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. You can Google us, Instagram, Facebook. We are there. Happy Juneteenth. Come ride with us. Woo!